Meg and Samantha get into catfight as half-sister shockingly unmasks dirty plot to ruin Kate's birthday. Meghan Markle's sister, Samantha, once claimed Meghan was jealous of Kate Middleton and tried to ruin her birthday when she and Prince Harry announced they had resigned from the royal family. Meghan Markle's sister, Samantha, once claimed the Duchess of Sussex threw herself at Disney and that she is jealous of Kate Middleton and ruined her birthday on purpose. In an exclusive interview with Daily Star, Samantha, 54, alleged Meghan was throwing herself at Disney during a film premiere with Beyoncé. Meghan and Prince Harry stepped down from their roles as working royals two years ago, and have since worked on their mental health charity, Archul, and opportunities with Spotify and their podcast series. Comments from Samantha, who says she raised Meghan for 12 years in California, claim Meghan was jealous of Prince William's wife, Kate Middleton. The same day of the Duchess of Cambridge's birthday, Meghan and Harry announced their split from the royal family prompting Samantha to say, sad she would do that on Kate's birthday, I believe she was jealous of beautiful Kate. She could never compare, Kate is iconic. Perfect queen material and lovely as a family member especially as a mother. I was impressed with how Kate could make a $200 dress look like $2 million. Following the decision of Meghan and Harry to resign the HRH titles, Meghan's sister said, she received so much negative public scrutiny as a result of actions that were speaking of Harry and Meghan's tour of Africa as well as humanitarian and charity work at the time, Samantha said, if she was smart she would be a true humanitarian, benefit the world especially poverty issues and be in a favorable public light. Samantha was angered by a documentary at the time, which showed Harry and Meghan speaking about poverty in Africa. She said, she got too much scrutiny for lavish spending and yet still when discussing hunger in Africa, still made the end of the interview about her difficult royal life. She knew the expectations and the public reliance on her to walk in the shoes that fit. Meanwhile, Kate, Duchess of Cambridge sent a powerful and crafty message with her latest fashion choice showing that her royal status has not irrevocably changed her as a person, according to a royal expert. Earlier this week, Kate, 40 made her first royal public appearance of the year along with her husband Prince William, 39, as the pair visited the Foundling Museum in London. For the occasion, all the elements of the Duchess of Cambridge's outfit came from the high street, including a pair of earrings from Accessorize, which originally cost just £7 before being discounted in their sale. Royal expert Daniela Elza commented on the Duchess's decision to wear a pair of high street brand earrings, claiming it's a nod to her normal upbringing. In a column for the New Zealand Herald, Ms. Elza added, Every time Kate wears something like these accessorized earrings, they serve as a reminder that she has not lost touch with her commoner roots. She might be on track to become the next Princess of Wales but the message such fashion choices as those earrings carry is that her royal status has not irrevocably changed her as a person. It's a powerful and crafty message. Ms. Elza adds this is a direct contrast to more luxe pieces found in her sister-in-law Meghan Markle's closet. In her column, Ms. Elsa claims the 40-year-old mother of two's newfound appetite for the more luxe things in life extends to her wardrobe, adding that Meghan has been spotted wearing pieces from fashion brand The Row including at least two of their $2,000 cashmere turtlenecks. However, she notes that this is good for her after Meghan's breakaway from the royal family with her husband Prince Harry. In another news, though Prince Harry and Meghan Markle move to the US in search for a better life, they have been told that they may never find it. Royal biographer Duncan Luckham, while speaking to Closer, speculated that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could return to the UK even after establishing their life in the US. He added that the pair might not be too happy about their American life as they are reportedly making private inquiries on selling their Montecito home. It's interesting if they're looking to relocate again. If the reports are true and they're not happy in their nine-bedroom Malay mansion, then I think that's a big red flag in terms of how happy they are. The comment comes after the pair failed to produce content for Spotify in the year 2021 as the audio giant is looking to hire a team that can support the Duke and Duchess of Sussex create new podcasts. The Duke and
High Street, including a pair of earrings from Accessorize, which originally cost just £7 before being discounted in their sale. Royal expert Daniela Elza commented on the Duchess's decision to wear a pair of High Street brand earrings, claiming it's a nod to her normal upbringing. In a column for the New Zealand Herald, Ms. Elza added, Every time Kate wears something like these accessorized earrings, they serve as a reminder that she has not lost touch with her commoner roots. She might be on track to become the next Princess of Wales but the message such fashion choices as those earrings carry is that her royal status has not irrevocably changed her as a person. It's a powerful and crafty message. Ms. Elza adds this is a direct contrast to more luxe pieces found in her sister-in-law Meghan Markle's closet. In her column, Ms. Elza claims the 40-year-old mother of two's newfound appetite for the more luxe things in life extends to her wardrobe, adding that Meghan has been spotted wearing pieces from fashion brand The Row including at least two of their 2000s 